I've always had a love for airplanes and I joined the Air Force right out of high school. I went to work for the FAA and then eventually Atlantic Southeast Airlines, Continental and finished at United Airlines. Presently I have a Cessna 172i. I bought it in the spring of 1979 and it's been a family plane ever since. I usually fly with my Karen Terrier Duffy, Duffy the dog, and I wanted to fly with a purpose other than just getting the $100 hamburger, so I thought I'll look into the Pilots and Paws. It's a great organization. Voluntary pilots move animals to their forever home. Most of my flying is cross country, and I had the KLN 94. I wanted a WAS capable GPS so I could do LPV approaches into the rural airports where I usually drop these dogs. So I settled on the KSN 770. The operating system in the 770 is pretty similar to what we had in the airplanes that I flew at United. The only difference being is that the 770 is a hybrid with a touch screen. The fact that I can split the screen, put terrain on one side, navigation on the other, has been a tremendous help. Here in North Georgia, the mountains do go up to 4,500 feet, and the terrain will sneak up on you. If you have the terrain feature selected in your 770, it's not a problem. The cost of the unit was considerably less than comparable units from other manufacturers with the same size screen. So the savings basically paid for the installation it gave me the features I wanted. It's compatible with my STEC 50 autopilot and compatible with non Bendix King products. Number 8387 Lima Gwinnett Tower, runway 7, clear to land. Coming from Florida into the Atlanta area, all propeller driven aircraft receive the same arrival down to 6,000 feet. Well, I can look on my ADSB and see that uh, as I'm descending to 6,000 feet going as fast as I can, that there's traffic behind me and it's always going to be faster. The uh, next transmission that's coming from the air traffic controller is going to be an off-route vector or a clearance to some waypoint that is obscure and that I don't know where it is or how to spell it. Once I get that, I simply push the direct button on the KSN 770, select waypoints or intersections, and the listing comes up, I tap it, select to enter, and the STEC 50 makes a nice gentle turn and I'm on my way. The KSN 770 has been very helpful in that single pilot IFR. I can preload my alternate airport. I think the weather is going to be iffy. Once I make the missed approach, the alternate's automatically sequenced in the uh, flight plan and I'm off and on my way. I'd recommend the Bendix King KSN 770 to all pilots because it's feature rich and the situational awareness is outstanding, terrain features outstanding, and just the safety factor of it is certainly well worth it.